On this example, we have a mathematical modeling problem, um, meaning word problem, where we're going to use a right triangle to help us solve this. All right, so we have a 20 foot long ladder that leans against the building so that the angle between the ground and the ladder is 80 degrees. How high does the ladder reach on the building? So I always find it really helpful if I draw a picture first, um, just to kind of, even if it's a very basic right, right triangle, um, to help us get everything labeled in the right place. So we do know it's a 20 foot long ladder. So the ladder going up there is 20 feet long. And then it is an angle of 80 degrees between the ground, the bottom and the ladder. What we're looking for in this one is how high does the ladder reach on the building? So how high up is this side? So a little bit of labeling on these. Um, we are concerned about based on that, that angle, We've got a right angle going on here. We're assuming this building is straight up and down. Um, when we're referring to the 80 degrees, this would be referred to as the opposite side. And then the side opposite where the right angle is, the 20, is going to be the hypotenuse. So what we want to do is use Sokotoa and pick out which trigonometric ratio involves the opposite and the hypotenuse. That's the key on most of these. After you get a, a picture drawn, you need to pick out the right trigonometric ratio. So remember this is sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent opposite over adjacent. So sine of 80 degrees is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So we can say sine of 80 degrees, our opposite is gonna be X and our hypotenuse is 20. So we need to solve this equation down for X. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll move the 20 to the other side by multiplying both sides by 20. So here we have X is gonna be 20 times sine of 80 degrees. Um, and that's an exact answer. All right, as far as this height goes, now you may be one person that's like, uh, I want a decimal. I don't like just getting exact answers and that's okay. We can punch this into our calculator by um, making sure that we're in degree mode first by pushing mode on our calculator, making sure it's not in radian mode. And then you go 20 times sine of 80. I close some parentheses and I got it to be about 19.696. I guess it's in feet. That's an approximation by the way. All right, it's pretty steep ladder. All right, hope this helps in setting up this word problem, this mathematical modeling using trigonometric ratios. Good luck to you with them.